Welcome Earthlings! I'm Melon and today I want to teach you a neat trick I use to make a quick VTuber in under 10 minutes. Give or take a couple extra minutes depending on how long it takes your Unity to move stuff and export and all that fun stuff. The original script I had planned to do would have had an overlay of me walking around the screen easily pointing things out, but unfortunately my VR equipment is stinky poo poo. So I hope these still photos I took will do the trick. The tutorial I'll be doing will be going over some quick basics of converting a complete VR chat avatar into a VTuber. The things you'll need will be linked below as well as credits to the absolute amazing Kinomatic, the creator of the Nova Beast model. And just as a heads up, I will be going just a tad fast, so make sure to pause and rewatch parts. Go at your own pace so you don't miss key instructions. Everything will be clean cut and straight to the point. If you thought this tutorial was helpful, please, please, please like and subscribe. Maybe even check out my live content over on Twitch. By the time that I get done with this silly little tutorial, you'll be able to go from having your fun VR chat avatar and then on to, you know, stuff like this. Uh, no, I'm not okay. Yeah, I have to restart my VTuber. Hold on. <laughs> I died. I have to sneeze. <laughs> so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with step one, making your VR chat avatar. There are tons of tutorials on YouTube that can help with this, and I have linked some channels below that are really great for this. My tutorial will start right after you have completed and uploaded the avatar to VR chat. I do recommend having some Unity and Creator Companion knowledge, as what I'm teaching is a bit more on the harder side, but if you're a quick learner, then hopefully this tutorial will be of use. Go ahead and start off by saving your scene up in the hierarchy up in the top left. Start by saving your project because it is very important. Right click on your scene, click Save As, and give it a name. Next, you're going to want to create a prefab variant. To do this, select your avatar in the hierarchy and drag and drop it into your assets window. Click create variant if a prompt shows up. After this, once you're all done, right click on your prefab that you just made and export your package. Make sure to put it somewhere where you can find it for the love of God. Go ahead and close down creator companion and open up your Unity Hub. This is the OG Unity before Creator Companion. You're going to want to create a new 3D project with the version 2019.4.31 F1 and give it a name. If you don't have this version, go to Installs on the left, click Install Editor, Archive, and click the Download Archive link to go to the web page. There you will find the version you need. Once you find it, simply click Unity Hub to install it into your Unity Hub. Once the program has opened, you're going to want to start importing all of your stuff in. Starting with the UniVRM file, you will want to import the UniVRM.97 file. And optionally, if you want fancy shaders like what I have instead of the standard that you see on most, you'll also want to import the VSF SDK and your shader of choice. The Nova B specifically uses the Little Tune shader. You'll then want to import your models package that you made earlier, and then we can move on to the next step. Once all of everything is loaded, your little prefab that you made earlier should be down below. Go ahead and grab that and drag it into the hierarchy on the left. Go ahead and look through the model and click on it. Remove any scripts and colliders off your avatar as you won't be needing them. If there are blend shapes such as boobs or thicker thighs, whatever blend shapes that you need to add, do them now before exporting. If you have any clothing or objects you attach via VRC Fury or other methods, you'll want to unpack them and attach all the parts manually because those programs will not work here. If you already did it manually, then good for you. I'm too lazy for that and I'm sure there's other methods to doing that, but I don't have that knowledge. Next up is exporting your VRM to have it auto make scripts. If it gives you a red error for T pose issues, you can force T pose in the tab above. Make sure 
to give it a name, what version it is, and the author name. Make sure you save it somewhere where you can find it. I swear to F, organize your folders. Don't be me. Do not be me. At this point in time, you're going to want to make a new folder down in your assets area. Go ahead and name it whatever you want to name it and open it up. Once you've opened it, you're going to want to drag and drop in that VRM file that you just made so that it will do its thing. It'll take a quick sec, but it will move all your stuff into that folder. Once your VRM package has imported into your new folder, there will be a prefab that will be down at the bottom. Go ahead and drag and drop that into your hierarchy and hide your original. Take this second to go ahead and go find your materials if you're planning to do the fancy shaders and just simply drag and drop your shaders onto your body the original way that they you had them. Like, you know, just kind of right on, plop plop uh, that one goes there uh, this one goes here yeah like that and now we're going to add it some wiggly wobbly timey wimeys and we're going to hit the secondary button and we're going to calculate how many fizz bones we're going to need or i well, i guess fizz bones would be the term that you guys know i yeah that the, the, the wiggles so like ears tail hair all that count how many you need and then uh, click on, oh, I forgot. I have to like do every individual hair piece. So this is gonna be funny. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, I need 20. So click secondary, go to root bone, type in 20, which is, well, you don't have to do 20. There's 20 is how many I have. And then go find those specific bones on the right, on the left, excuse me, on the left, I'm dumb. Um, and drag and drop them over into the elements, like so. You can adjust things as you go, but this is just the basics of describing the bones that you want to wiggle, such as collars, ears. Um, I specifically, in terms of wiggliness, I suggest putting it at 0 0.33 stiffness. Um, just because that's my preference, you can adjust it as needed. But we're on to the final step, which is simply going, clicking on your avatar, scrolling down until you find the blend shape, double clicking it, and then you're going to get this prompt. If you don't see a picture of your avatar down at the bottom, try clicking the double line thing and maybe a photo pops up. I'm not quite sure, but this step's pretty simple. You click on a E I O U and so start with A and then click on open up body and go find the blend shape VRC ah and simply drag that blend shape over scroll back over and grab the uh, click on the next one and so on and so forth and you'll just do that until you have all of them as for regular facial expressions you can mix and match uh, however you want to make it set up pretty much this should only take you about five minutes or so, depending on your knowledge of blend shapes. You're just moving stuff around. And then once you have all of your blend shapes set up, you are pretty much done. You've added your shaders, you've added your blend shapes for your mouth movements and audios. So simply click VSF SDK and export package. Again, save it where you can find it and wait till it's done. And at this point, you're just gonna open up your program of choice and import it in. If you are doing the version without the fancy shaders, the standard shaders, then you don't need to add your uh, materials on. You could just leave the materials that were already on it when it was first exporting. You still need to do the fizz bones and the uh, blend shape for the mouth and stuff like that, but you do not necessarily need to do the materials. But at this point in time, the avatar is done. Thank you guys so much. I saw everybody going ham on Twitter. I was so excited to make this for you guys. I hope you guys were just as excited as I was, and I'm super grateful that you guys popped by to check out my video. If you have any questions or 
any notes or anything that you'd like to add, feel free to drop them in the comments below. And if you'd like to check out some of my live content, don't forget to drop a follow over on my Twitch at uh, www.twitch.tv slash Meloniac, M-E-L-L-O-N-I-C. Um, I also have Twitter and other social medias that you can check out, such as TikTok and all that. The exact same name, super easy to find me. Uh, and yeah, thanks so much for joining me today. Bye!